belly flopping into ponds and rivers in your pants. Hey folks, welcome back. So we've got another haul video today, this time at TK Maxx. Um, it's gonna be a short video, because I just went along kind of spur of the moment with my missus and took a look around to see what they had from a sort of outdoors camping and backpacking point of view. I didn't buy anything, but they did have a few bits that I filmed in the store so that I could show you guys what they've got. Um, so we'll take a look and you can let me know what you think. So the first thing was they've got a few options for different towels. There was a regatta towel for 4.99 that was 90 by 50 centimeters and packed down really small. There was also a trespass towel that was slightly bigger at 120 by 60 centimeters and that came in at 7.99 and they'd also got a trespass change towel which was 140 by 80 centimeters that was ideal for any of you sort of wild swimmers out there that are into belly flopping into ponds and rivers in your pants they'd also got a what they call a survival kit trespass one that included a head torch and a paracord bracelet the bracelet had a whistle and a a small fire steel on it. Um, I do have something similar myself that I've just thrown in my bag in the past just in case I needed it, but it is, I think, more of a gimmick than something that's actually useful and something that you'd need. They'd also got a regatta first aid kit in a little first aid pouch. That was $5.99, but from my perspective, I would rather put a little first aid kit together myself. If you buy these packs, um, that's all well and good, but if you build your own, you know yourself what's in there, you know how to use it, you know the use by dates on everything, and you know exactly what you've got. The danger with these packs, I think, is you buy a first aid kit from a shop, you throw it in your bag, you're out in the field and you need something and it's, it's not in the kit or you don't know how to use it or it's out of date. And a lot of these packs are a lot bigger than they need to be. Um, so I think you are better off just making your own first aid kit out of cheaper stuff from uh, Wilco's or Superdrug or, or something like that. They also had the kind of obligatory cheap head torch that was $3.99, uh, pretty much the same as the ones that you'll have seen in my previous videos at B&M and the range. So if you do want a head torch and you haven't got a lot of money, they are pretty good and worth looking at. They're obviously battery powered and not rechargeable, but if you can go up to sort of 10, 12, 15 pounds, I'd recommend uh, doing that and getting a rechargeable one. They had regatta hiking poles as well, and they were sold individually at $7.99 each. Um, they felt quite light and strong to be fair, so if you've got a Lanshan one or a tent that just needs one hiking pole, or you just want a hiking pole, it's definitely worth having a look at that one. And then on the sort of drinks and drinking side of things, they've got a stainless steel 650ml vacuum flask, which looked ideal for your kind of day hikes where you want a hot drink while you're out, but you don't want to take a full stove setup and boil water while you're out. They've got a regatta 750ml water bottle with quite a wide top, um, a similar sort of size and shape to the Nalgene bottles that a lot of people use, and that was $3.99. And they'd also got a big one litre uh, metal water bottle for $4.99 that might be worth a look. And then on the clothing side, as you might know, TK Maxx is set out a little bit like a jumble sale. So they did have a rail of outdoor clothing, but there was all kinds of stuff in there in all different sizes. Um, so you do have to rifle through it, but I did manage to find a few bits and pieces to show you. So they've got a Crag Office fleece for $12.99. And a regatta raincoat for the same price that look quite good. And then there was a soft shell jacket from a company called Columbia that I've never heard of before. You might have heard of them if you have, drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. That was $39.99, but it looked like a real sort of good quality coat. So it might be worth investigating if you're looking for that kind of soft shell jacket type thing. They'd also got a Trespass soft shell coat for the same price at $39.99. And then the final thing that I found was a jacket from a company called Save the Duck. And it was labeled up as a down jacket without down. So they've created a synthetic down. It's basically a synthetic jacket. And that was $49.99, but it looked like a quality coat and a quality bit of kit. I'd never heard of the brand before, so I had a quick look online. And if you buy those from their website, they're 149 euros. 
which is about 128, 129 pounds. So at 50 quid, it's a real good buy if that's the kind of thing you're looking for. So yeah, those are the bits that I found. Um, as I'm sure you know, with TK Maxx, they get new things in all the time and things sell out all the time. So it's definitely worth checking on their website, but I just wanted to give you guys a feel for what you can get from there. So give us a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, and consider subscribing for weekly hauls, wild camps and gear reviews. Stay safe and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>